how are you? This is now the second workout I've done in the last 15 minutes. I'm at my sister Diane's. They have a high security internet. And uh, it will let you bring things in, but it won't let you upload them out. And last night it took us over an hour and a half to upload our Bible study. Today it wouldn't even let me upload. So I worked out for 20 minutes in my workout clothes. I got ready for church. It's almost time to go to church. I already woke up and I washed up and I worked out and I had a wholesome uh, snack and I'm ready to go to worship. And so now, because it's a granny fit 100 day challenge and you don't know I did all that, I have to do it again. I'm already dressed for church in my nice little sweater dress and my sippies, but I made a commitment to you to work out every day with you for a 10 minute workout. So I'm gonna do low impact so I don't have to get all undressed and have a shower because I don't have time. And uh, you didn't see it, but look at my hair. My sister is into curls. Can you see that? She curled my hair this morning and she sprayed something on it to make it shiny and something like product to make it the curls stay. I've never been able to have curly hair naturally and when I perm it, it goes psh, and I hate that. So even, even normally it's frizzy, as you know. So anyway, today I have curls. You hardly recognize me, right? So we're starting all over again. And I talked about stretches before, but I didn't really show you what I do in the morning. I do it before you see me. And I thought, you know, that's not fair because you're going to get up and do all that working out and be all like hurt. So I'm going to show you what I do in the morning. I stretch up as far as I can to kind of get my spine and my discs and everything kind of like, you know, stretched out and all the toxins moved out. And then I go down really slowly and I go right down and I touch the floor and I hold it. Count to about 10 and I can feel my tendons in my legs and my back of my thighs and my back. Just nightly, nicely stretching out, squeezing out all the toxins from the night before. And I usually do that at least twice. And then the other thing I do, and I've got my husband doing it, you know, I've always, unless I've pulled a muscle, I've always been able to touch the floor. Always. And I thank God that I do it regularly, because maybe I wouldn't be able to always do it if I didn't do it every day. The other thing I do, and I have nylons off now, so it'll be a little harder, is I put one foot back and flat on the floor. And then I lean forward, and I put that foot back significantly. And I lean forward, and I lean forward, and I keep the foot flat on the floor at the back, and the one in the front that my knee is bent, that is also flat on the floor. And I lean until I feel the muscles and the tendons stretching. Not enough to cause injury, just a nice, gentle, kind of a pulling sensation. And I hold that. And eventually the, that pulling sensation seems to go away, and then it's fine. And then I put the other leg forward and I put this leg back and it's flat on the floor and I lean forward, I bend my knee, but keep both feet flat on the floor and do the same on the other side. And there we go. And then I stand up and I put my, my hand on my elbow here and then I just gently encourage my spine to bring out more toxins and I hold. And then I put my hand on my, my elbow and I do the same thing on this side. So now I've stretched up and I've turned and I've stretched my lower legs and I've bent my back out and now my, my middle. I told you I had this, bought this uh, uh, workout in a bike thing to replace the one I broke. And so I'm in my sister's guest room and it's a little different than my gym. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this through the end of her bed. This is just to show you, even if you're in a senior's apartment, if you have something, you know, like a, this little gym in the back, there, I've kind of looped it through, so it, it gives me resistance here. Um, you can still get up and stretch and work out a little bit. It's not about becoming Mrs. Schwarzenegger, you know, bodybuilder. It's about making sure everything's moving every day, all the joints all the muscles, all the tendons, and doing it until you work up a sweat, which I don't really want to do when I'm all dressed for church. But anyways, uh, if you get everything moving and work up a sweat, your cardiovascular starts to work and pump. And it just filters that blood and, and gets all the toxins and stuff out from the day before. 
your liver starts to work and your kidney starts to work and everything is awake and you're alive, praise God. And here I am stretching out. And this is to pull up this kind of stuff. You know, when you get to be a grandmother, you don't want it to be hanging down. And you, if you do these kinds of things, you're getting your arms strong again, but you're also pulling the things up that need to be up. And like I said, I'm not trying to be Mrs. Schwarzenegger. I'm just trying to get everything moving. And then here's that little handy thing I told you about yesterday. If you can see it here. It's um, for squidging my, my hands. Keep my, my hands and thumb and everything strong enough to open jars. And I got it on wrong. <laughs> there we go. And then my hands are a little bit greasy because I put my face moisturizer on. So if I can do at least 10 of them... Try to get it so it goes all the way closed, my fingers slipping. I have no idea. I, I talk and I don't count. You guys are going to have to count for me. When we did our workout yesterday, we took the dogs for a walk on Penetang Beach. And I only videotaped for you the part where I was leaving to go. Well, then when we got to the beach, we videotaped on the beach, us walking the dogs. And we also videotaped along the road driving to Sault Ste. Marie. It's an amazing drive. And God give us sunshine. So we got some awesome pictures of French River and the rocks. And we got out and walked the dogs about four times. So I got a good walk workout yesterday. But I'm going to re-edit yesterday's exercise video. So keep in mind what number we had at yesterday's was. Because I'm going to add all those to the end. And kind of make it like a quick musical video for you to see. And um, that way you can uh, appreciate our journey with us together. I'm doing this, I've got it between my hands, see, like this, and I'm pressing it together with my arms up here, and that's another thing to film up. Um, I'm just trying to use the equipment the best I can, and so, to just get everything moving through my fingers, and then my toes, I'm doing this up and down thing on my toes, just get my toes working too. I want everything tingling because then I know my blood's circulating and everything's tingling. And then I've had a good workup with my calf muscles and my ankle muscles. And then I've got this little thing here to try to strengthen up my upper arm. And one of the ways it's good to do that is to actually do it and just hold it. Hold it up there. These weights as long as you can. And then gradually bring it back and I hold it out. And it's not about building muscle. If I wanted to build muscle, I would pump it maybe. And what I'm trying to do is just strengthen. And I'm not a physiotherapist. I'm just telling you what works for me. And then pull it back. And go out. And I pull it back really slowly. And go out. And I, do, I try to do about 10 or 20 of those when I have time. So even my little workout equipment in a box is actually is actually effective for trying to get myself, you know, alive. And when I'm done all this, I'm gonna have I already had a uh, rye bread. Uh, Diane doesn't have smoothie equipment, so I bought fruit. So when I leave here, instead of having a wholesome fruit smoothie, I'm gonna just have some fruit on the way to church. <laughs> I hope they don't mind. And then why worship will be at church this afternoon. I go see my mommy again. And then there's another Bible study here in Diane's home. She hosts the Bible study. And then she's having a dinner party. So tomorrow morning, I'll really need to work out because her dinner party is pasta, 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 and cheesecake. So <laughs> I'm praying for you to get fit. You pray for me to get fit. And they're waiting for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my glasses on again so I can see the little red dot. Oh, by the way, what do you think of my sweater? This is a sweater. It's, um, it's flattering for one thing. And uh, I was had to stop on the way here. I'm going to get closer to see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyways, it's got cable stitch. Cable stitch, right? It's got a cow neck. Maybe girls who care. And it's got cable stitch all down the front. I got it at, of all places, Zeller's had a clearance sale, and I was killing time because Eric was visiting his friend in Collingwood on the way here, and I said, oh, I'm gonna sit in the car. So I went over and this was 12 bucks, 12 bucks. That's amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna find the dot, 
here I am. You see me up close. See my curls? And I'm going to find a dot and I say, God bless and goodbye. And this is the Granny Fit 100 Day Challenge. Get fit.